Hey, mateys. It be time for another real-world pirate history lesson as told by yours truly. Today, I figured we should focus on a particularly famous crew of pirates, that of the ship Revenge. Of course, I speak of Captain Calico Jack, his first mate Carl Starling, and of course, the free-spirited and fierce-fighting Anne Bonnie and Mary Reed. Aye, all four of these notable pirates sailed together at the very tail end of the Golden Age of Piracy. Some say Calico Jack's hanging at Port Royal marked the end of the era itself. Well, that's certainly up for debate. Let's get on with the tale, aye? Little be known of Calico Jack's early life. All we do know is that he became a pirate in 1718 as the quartermaster to the just as equally notorious pirate Captain Charles Vane. That same year, Calico Jack called a crew vote of no confidence in Captain Vane. The vote passed, and Calico Jack became captain of the crew. They then spent the next year plundering the coasts of Jamaica and the Bahamas. Jack and his men took a royal pardon in 1719, but it didn't last long. By 1720, Calico Jack was back at his old pirating ways, and alongside him were Sterling, Bonnie, and Reed. Anne Bonny had been a housewife to the former pirate James Bonny. An Irish lass with a fire in her heart, she was known to cause trouble. When she met Calico Jack in Nassau, the two became lovers. When the affair was discovered and the governor ordered her whipped for adultery, Bonny fled with Jack. They stole a sloop, renamed it Revenge, and set off for piracy. Within the crew was a fair-faced sailor by the name of Mark Reed and he and Anne Bonny became fast friends. One night, in a fit of jealous rage, Calico Jack confronted Mark Reed, only to discover after tearing open his shirt during the brief scuffle that Mark was actually a woman. Mary Reed was her real name, and she had confided her secret to Nan. Seeing as how women were considered bad luck upon ships, she had kept her identity secret for years. Seeing as this was actually true friendship, and Reed being one of the fiercest fighters in the crew, and Jack not buying into the myth that women were bad luck, Calico Jack backed down. Carl Starling was a loyal first mate to Jack, and was credited for creating one of the most popular and iconic versions of the Jolly Roger, the skull centered atop two crossed cutlasses. His fate, however, remains a mystery as he was not recorded as having been with the crew of the Revenge when she was captured in the autumn of 1720. Some believe he was killed in the battle between Calico's pirates and Jean Bonavis's crew of pirate hunters. Others believe he stuck to the pardon and didn't go out with Calico Jack. There's also a rumor that Starling left the crew shortly before they were captured. Sadly, the fate of this pirate remains a mystery as his name is not upon the record of those hanged alongside Calico Jack. I suppose now's the time to speak on the fate of the rest of the crew. As stated, the pirate hunter Jean Bonavides took on the bounty set on Calico Jack. After a brief melee, the crew of the Revenge was brought before a royal judge in November of 1720. All were convicted of piracy. Bonnie and Reed claimed to be pregnant, so their executions be stayed until proven. Calico Jack and the rest of his pirates were not so lucky. The lot of them were hanged on the 18th of November, and Rackham himself was gibbed and put on display on a small islet at the entrance to Port Royal, known from then on as Rackham's K. Mary Reed was recorded of dying from a fever in April of 1721 during childbirth. It is believed her child also perished during the labor. There be no written record on the fate of Anne Bonny, save the word of a family in South Carolina that claims that once she was released from prison, she settled in the colony with a new husband and died of old age in 1782. Without any written record of her release, though, most historians believe she died in prison. Chances are we will never know the truth, and that be the tale of the crew of the revenge. Perhaps... It only ended well for Anne Bonny and Carl Starling, or all perished as pirates true. There be only one guarantee in the game of piracy, mateys, and that be of a short life but a merry one. Speaking of that old saying, I think old Grimm knows who to tell the tale about come the next round of stories. But until then, mateys, I be Captain Grimm of the pirate ship Antelope. May we cross paths upon the Sea of Thieves, aye?